we get a first serve to the backhand side, spin, I fake, partner covers, and I like to serve to the backhand, but it does kind of take me out. I have to cover the line a little bit. Pretty good return, so my partner goes back deep volley. They're playing two back formation, okay? We have position, so we can be patient now. Look how we're moving together. I go middle with the ball. Ball goes back to the wide. I go wide. We both go wide. See how we shift? I don't have to put this ball away. They have good position too, so it's going to be hard to put the ball away. And I get a net court, so that screws everything up. Goes to the lob, which is interesting, but, you know, this is where the point should be over, but I was being really nice, and I don't smack the hell out of this. If you lob in a match this short, you need to tell your partner a net, watch out, run away, do something, because normally he would get killed. <clears throat> And the far away guy, Dan, does a really good job getting this ball low. Look how low this ball is. Bounces to my feet. Keeps it low. But now, I have position. And they're in a little bit of disarray. So I can be very patient with this. I have a body grip on, so I just slice to the ba baseline. Backhand. I don't have time to switch to go to topspin shot. So I just slice and be patient. He actually executes a pretty decent lob. My partner gets back for it. Hits the overhead. Then we start position. This is actually a tough overhead. It's going to his backhand side. He has to retreat diagonally. <clears throat> but after they hit the overhead at you, you shouldn't lob again because we're waiting for a lob. You should hit the ball. And I play the I play the other partner, but I got a good lick at this overhead. So if you can get a good lick, you can go wherever you want. Be patient when you have position. Know when you have position, and play percentages and play the court. 